Hey, it's Dante, it's YouTube, it's Hayden here. How's everyone doing today? I hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be doing a thrift haul, so I'm super excited to share with you guys all this really great stuff I found recently at the Goodwill, and if you wanted to see that video, hit that little um, link right there, the window will pop out, and you can select that video there, and also have playlists for my other thrifting videos, haul videos, handbag rehabs, and vlogs, and if you love that kind of content, don't forget to subscribe, hit the little bell button for notifications, so that you'll be notified when my new videos do go up, and they do go up every single day at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and don't forget to check out my Instagram. Instagram and Facebook. It's Hadrian, just like it's spelled here. And check out my shop at it's Hadrian.com. We're going to have some of this stuff for sale if anyone is interested. But without further ado, let's get into this haul. It's like, I I got a lot of stuff. So I'm really excited to share with you guys what I got. I'm going to start off with uh, the kids' toys. And the first thing to have right here, um, I always try to find like some cool toys for my nephews and stuff whenever I go out thrifting. Um, I always feel like kids' toys just like kind of like the turnover rate is so high and like they're usually pretty expensive and I find that you can still actually find really good stuff even if they're um, used or new so um, this is actually a new toy right here it's like the play-doh digging rigs um, my little nephew Eliza is obsessed with cars so like that's already perfect there's like the little truck from cars and play-doh obsessed with play-doh so this guy was only three dollars and ninety nine cents which is crazy, so, <clears throat> excuse me, very excited to have um, this for him, I'm going to give this to him right now after I finish filming, so I'm excited about that. Then the next toy I have here <laughs> is also for Eliza, he got lucky this video, um, but, howdy bouncy cow, like, I looked at it, I looked inside of it, everything is literally still wrapped up, everything is brand new, and... This little boy ran $7.99, which is amazing. I think these go for about $40 to $50 brand new, and this is pretty much new. So, <coughs> excuse me. Eliza loves this kind of stuff, so uh, excited again about this for him. Uh, he's going to have a field day today. It's going to be like Christmas for him. So, And I'm pretty sure Zach... And, even Kate are probably going to try and play with this too. Um, so it's like an inflatable like cow thing. It kind of looks like that and then you bounce on it and stuff. So there's that. And I guess um, I'll jump into um, home goods and all that. Um, the first thing I have here is this beautiful blue kind of like vase. It's so cool. I love the color. It's like a deep blue. It almost has kind of like an ombre um, from like a... It's still dark all the way through, but it's like a darker, a lighter dark blue, like going down, down, down to like a more indigo, I guess. Um, and this one was um, $7.99, but the color of the day was blue, so anything with a blue tag was half off, so this guy was $4.00. I thought it was really pretty, and for spring, I kind of wanted to do like a blue and white kind of motif, I think, so I, I've been trying to collect blue and white things, but I feel like recently it's been a lot more difficult, like I've already had this obsession for a few years, and I've been trying to collect a good amount of blue and white items as far as dinner plates and home decor goes, but I feel like recently, um, one of the big home decor trends is doing blue and white, so I'm like, oh my gosh, come on, I can't find anything, so it's like pretty competitive at the thrift store for blue and white items, so I was really lucky to find this vase. And you guys, thrifting for home decor is like one of the best things ever. You can find such amazing stuff, and honestly, it looks like it's brand new from the store, so you really can't go wrong. <clears throat> <coughs> oh! Okay, inside here, I have this Starbucks mug, and I know I said I wasn't going to buy any more mugs, but I have decided I'm going to be sending a lot of stuff, uh, like a lot of my mugs to the Philippines, I'm going to like consolidate, and so I feel like it's okay to add more mugs, because it means more mugs to send also to the Philippines to my family, and they love a good mug as well, and let me tell you, there is a lot of them, like honestly, both of my parents come from families of 10, and all of those kids have like at least four or five children and then those children also have children so there's like a lot of people so I feel like it's okay <laughs> um, so I found this black and white Starbucks mug it is gorgeous I really like this one it's very like um, minimalistic and modern and I like this coloration like this combination and I like the angular um, little handle 
So I thought it was really cool. And this guy was $2.99. And you know Starbucks mugs are so expensive. That's why I love collecting them. And a lot of people do collect them. So um, I think that's really cool. And then <clears throat> I got this really cool i think this was a jar like it had like a top or something or a lid and probably broke um this is a crate and barrel piece this little thing right there that says crate and barrel this was 2.99 um so yeah i'm pretty sure this was a jar but this would make a beautiful like planter um so that's what i'm going to be using this for i love using things that weren't necessarily planters planters to begin with and use them as planters so and i think this has a really cool interesting design i like like the shape of it and i love like white planters and i, I this is going to be perfect so this is going to look great with maybe um what's it called you can do either like like roses like cut roses or cut flowers and put them in here or you can do um like an orchid or some cool plant inside here so i think that's going to be really really great and if you guys follow me too on instagram and um my vlogs i'll show you guys how i'm going to style that in there too so there's that oh and then for easter I had to get this bunny, like, I don't know if it's, like, kind of scary or kind of cool. I actually have, um, the lion that looks exactly like this, and it has, like, the, like, it's just like this, like, it looks kind of like a puppet, and it's made of wood. I thought this was so cute. I kind of wanted to use it for Easter and do something with it, um, on, like, a table or setting or, um, some sort of thing, but this guy was only $1.99. I thought he was really cool. It kind of reminds me of um, the White Rabbit from Alice in Wonderland, so I just picked him up, and I think he's really, really cool. And, yeah. Excited about him. I'm going to set him over here. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, okay. Home goods. I have one more um, home decor piece to share with you guys. And don't mind how dirty it is, because I am going to clean it. But it is actually... Super cool. It's, um, what are these things called? It's not a carousel, but it's like Ferris wheel. So it's like a, a photo Ferris wheel. That's what it is. Um, but these, or this was actually really cool. Um, when I used to work at Pottery Barn, I was so obsessed with this thing and I always wanted to buy it, but it was always so expensive. So I never did end up buying it. Um, but this is the Pottery Barn piece of my, dr my dreams. Um, it was only $7.99, and I know it looks a little dirty, but honestly, it's just dirty. Um, I'm just gonna clean it with, like, some Windex and some, um, like, maybe, like, stainless steel polisher, and this is gonna look, like, fantastic again. So I'm gonna clean that. I'm gonna do some before and after shots if anyone's interested, so stay tuned for that. And if you want, like, a tutorial for how to clean stainless steel like this, um, let me know, but I really just use, like, Windex, and then I use, uh, the stainless steel, stainless steel polish. So, and then it's gonna look good as new, and I'm gonna clean, I don't know what's in here, it looks like there's dust, it's weird, honestly. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna put some photos in here, and then, like, put it somewhere, and it's gonna look fantastic, I think this thing is so, I actually think that's just, like, foam. I don't know. There's like dust and stuff in here, debris. Did they leave this outside? I don't know if it was like in the garage or something, but... <laughs> you never know where these things come from, but honestly, it's so cool. I had to get it. Um, okay, now I'll just do a couple of tech pieces that I got. Um, I did find this GoPro um, kind of stand thing. Like you can like clip it onto whatever and put the GoPro in there. <coughs> Excuse me. I haven't used... Um, my girl, my GoPro for a little bit, and I feel like this is definitely, like, I want to, like, mount it maybe in my car, and, like, vlog while I'm inside the car, and stuff like that, so I think this would be pretty cool. Um, this was only $1.99, so, um, I don't even know if my GoPro will fit in here, um, so we're just gonna have to try it out and see, but I'm, like, hoping that it will fit in here, and, um... And then we can start using that again, so I think that would be pretty cool. And these are usually pretty expensive, especially when it's the actual GoPro brand. Um, things like this, they usually, like, cost a pretty penny. This is probably over $50. Um, and I got it for $1.99. So, really excited about this, and I can't wait to use it. And yay, GoPro. Okay, so there's that. 
Then the next thing that I got is, um, I've really wanted one of these ever since I got an iPhone 10, and I also have the AirPods, and this is a wireless charging pad. So, um... Yeah, it says that it's compatible with Apple. Um, I don't know. I have to look and see, um, like, if it's going to take eight years. Because I know that some of these, even though they're compatible for Apple, they charge really slowly. So this might only be okay with maybe my AirPods. But even if it can charge my AirPods, I think that's pretty cool. And I can just use this for that. Um, but, yeah, this is only $10. So... You really can't go wrong with a $10 wireless charging pad. I know the other ones, like the cheaper ones, go for about like $30 or $40. It's like the cheapest I could find on Amazon. So I'm going to try this out and see how it works. And if it doesn't work, I can always return it. Um, the, um, like all electronics and stuff, you can always return to the Goodwill. If they're not working, you have a week. Well, I don't know if it's every Goodwill, but all of my local Goodwills from all the stores that I shop at, even if they're in different, um, districts, are still, um, a week return policy. So, there's that. Then, I was really excited about this, because I had seen this at the Goodwill for quite some time. And it's, um, <coughs> excuse me. A wet and dry Norelco shaver, and it's um, Star Wars Stormtrooper themed. <laughs> there it is. Um, I thought this was pretty cool. It was $30 originally, and this is brand new from Target. So, like, the box could have just been damaged or something. But then again, also, if this doesn't work, I can always return it. Um, but it was $30, but the color was blue, so this was half off at $15. And I thought, why not? I've actually been wanting kind of one of these shavers for quite some time. So I'm excited to get one for 15 bucks, and it's the Stormtrooper one, and it's really cool. So I'm excited, and even if like I end up not really liking it, I can give it to Dad or my brother-in-law or John or something, like, if I don't like using it. But, um, yeah, pretty cool. I'm excited to see if it'll work. Um, and again, I'll, I'll, I'll show you these in the vlog, um, if they work, and I'll, you know, you know. So, I'm um, excited about this. 15 bucks. I think I usually what um they the way that they price these things is that um the goodwill will get these and they'll price it at usually half the price of what they retail for. <coughs> so this is 30 it probably it probably retailed like don't want me on it for $60 and then I got it for 15 but it looks like it did go to clearance so it might have been cheaper so who knows. Um yeah. There's that and now, oh, let me show you some, oh, I got one shirt, and I thought this was so cute. Um, it is this button-up shirt, and it has little donkeys on it. Can you see that? They are so cute. So it has, like, a cute kind of, like, I don't know what, it's not, like, a floral, but, um, and then it has, like, the donkeys. At first, like, from far away, I thought they were little foxes, and I was like, oh, little foxes, and then I, like, ran to it, and I was like, oh my god, even better, little donkeys. So, I think this is so cool. I'm really excited about the shirt. Can't wait to wash it, and then wear it. So, there's that. I'm gonna throw this over there, so I can put it in the laundry. Um, then... My gosh, I got a lot of stuff, didn't I? I'm so excited. Okay, um, up next, I got... These gorgeous sandals. I thought they were so pretty. And when I saw them, it kind of reminded me of the Fendi um, decorative, like, crossbody straps that they sell. <coughs> Excuse me. And these are Aqua Zero Ferenzi um, sandals. And I wish these fit mom. They would She would have probably died for these. Um, unfortunately, they're 39 and a half. Though I am going to have her try them on. Because sometimes these run big or small. But they are sandals. So they might be a little bit more true to size. Um, and they look a little bit larger than like an, an eight and a half. So um, if they don't fit mom. Which they probably won't. I'm going to have these up in the shop. I am super excited. Because I know from experience that these Aqua Zora like sandals and shoes, heels and whatnot are very pricey. And these were a great deal at only $10. Dollars, so or six dollars, six ninety nine, seven dollars. Sorry, they were upside down when I was reading them. And you know what? They have these really cute little pineapples on the bottom, and I just thought that those were really cute. And you'll probably never see them because they're on the bottom, but who cares? They're like knowing that they're there. Plus, like the little straps are really, really cool as well. Okay, then last but not least, I have. Um, is this not last but not least in the shoes? I have. 
these Tory Birches. I cannot believe that I found another pair of Tory Birch shoes um, at this particular location. This is probably the fifth or sixth pair of Tory Birch shoes that I have found. And I think these are the fourth pair of Tory Birches that I found within the past month. So, these are patent leather in black, and these are in fantastic condition. They barely look worn at all. Whoever had these um, took very good care of them. Trying to see if I can figure out, um, I always have trouble finding this size because they always get rubbed off. Uh, I know they're right here. Some made in Brazil. Handmade upper, where does the number go? Crikey. I'm, I think these are like a size 9 or something. But, um... Oh! Size 8! I'm gonna have mom try these on. I don't know why they look bigger than an 8, but... I don't know, these are a little deceiving. So, I'm gonna have mom try these on, see if they fit. Because she's an eight and a half, so if they don't fit her, then these are definitely size eight. But I do see right here that it says it says eight M. So um, size eight. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my goodness. Okay, now I have just two handbags. Oh. Okay, so now I just have two last handbags to share with you guys. Um, this is the first one, and it is this Brighton shoulder bag. And I love the details on this bag so much. It has, like, I don't even know how to explain what this is. Like, it's kind of, like, stitched through, and it's leather. And it kind of makes, like, this cool, like, florette design, which I thought was really nice. And this guy was $7.99. And the bag is in really fantastic condition. It's really cute. Um... There is um, patina on the hardware, but I think it kind of makes it look more cool and like um, worn in. So it's like it kind of has like that cool vintage look to it. And I just thought that this was just like a really pretty detail, which I liked a lot. And then last but not least, this is the last item I have to share with you guys. And it is this beautiful Elliot Luca tote. I thought this was really nice. The leather is gorgeous on this, and I love that it's just the rawhide leather in the interior and then you can actually undo the buttons on the side and then the bag just looks like that and the interior is again just the rawhide it's just the the bottom part of the exterior leather and this leather is really thick and really nice and this is just like the suede so it's really really gorgeous um this bag was eight dollars um and yeah i am really Super excited for this. I actually really, really like this tote. Um, it's a great size and it's super lightweight, but I know it's going to be very durable because this leather feels very, very nice. But um, that rounds out today's haul. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and checking out all this really cool stuff that I found. Let me know down in the comments below what your favorite item was. Let me know if you have found anything really cool recently because I love hearing about your finds as well. And I hope you guys had so much fun. And if you guys did, please give this video a big thumbs up. It helps immensely. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the little bell button for notifications. And don't forget to tune in tomorrow for a new video. I love you guys so, so much. I'll see you guys then. Bye. This um, Cambridge satchel is half off. But there's a lot of like cracking right there. I think I might hold off on that. They still have this Kate Spade 3250. Oh no, the stitching's coming out. I'm not gonna get that for sure. This coach is kind of nice too, but the metallic is like really scratched.